Well, I may have been Miss America in 2009, but I'm a farm girl at heart. From southern Indiana, in the rural town of Seymour is where I fell in love with agriculture, and now agritourism is an actual thing. Let's spend our day here at Bloomington Farmer's Market seeing what's fresh in the fall. Hi Rosie, thank you so much for letting us come into your booth. Well, we're over in Eastern Green County, about okay. 40 minutes from here. And um, my husband and I are the farmers, along with our two sons, Lakota and Heron. And we, our garden is maybe about an acre. And we sell produce, we grow whatever we can think of. And we have lettuce, we have salad turnips, beets, and um, radishes. And then these are actually stinging metal pots. I was just going to say, I don't think I've ever heard of those. Before. Well, it's an amazing herb. It stings to touch it, so don't. It's just an oh, earthy I see smell. All the little, uh, yeah, like see the little hairs? So they actually quickly. sting you when you touch them. I mean, they were harvested really? yesterday. They're loaded with vitamins and minerals. It's like a multivitamin. So you can cook with them the way you cook with spinach. That sounds really good. I just have I a lot of them in my garden. Sometimes. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. At the farmer's market, there's so many amazing things to do. You obviously can get some incredible fresh produce, but there's also this section where you can find all kinds of delicious, yummy baked goods, some warm coffee for a beautiful, cool fall day, and uh, some fresh baked donuts, which I think I'm gonna be heading there next, or running there next. <laughs> Bloomington Farmer's Market was actually voted one of the top 50 farmer's markets in the country by Cooking Light Magazine. That's something. I'm putting my 4-H skills to work.